Okay, here's my next boiler. The 12 inch boiler. Uh, 38 tall in just the boiler, 12 inch diameter. It's got 21 copper tubes rolled in. They're three quarter round tubes rolled in. And the pop off valve is going to go off here pretty soon. It's set to go off at 75. And it's about there right now. Uh, it's got a 38 engine out here, or whistles. Um, you can put a T any place. It doesn't have to be there. And the uh, fill and drain is right here. Wow. Just plug a hose on there to fill it up when it's covered. Whistle works great. <laughs> Loud, too. Uh, the pump here is working real good. It's got a one inch ram on it. It's all bronze on the base of this one. And this is the airlock in case there's an airlock in the pump itself and you can't get water up through it. Just open that up. And you just close it off and everything you pump from there on out is going right in the boiler. Uh, water sight glass right there. Give it about half full. Uh, draft door. An ash pan is right here. Lots of room for plenty of wood. Coal if you want to use it. The blower valve is right here. about it. Uh, the base is 24 square at the outside of it. Real stable. Eight in, uh, six inch stack on this one. Tricocks are right here, of course. Building up pressure again already. And it's just the boiler. Includes the antique whistle and gauge. Pump is not antique. Really nice gauge too. Brass face on the gauge. That red needle that you see there, it's, uh, I can't move it. So I'm just going to leave it there at about 60. It'll consistently keep the boiler pressure at right around 75. And that's about it.